as you can see, I'm doing David's job for him. And that's because, apparently, his tractor won't work. Sounds to me like somebody is trying to get a new one. He's trying it on. <laughs> He's trying it on. Fair play to him for trying it on, but I told him if he doesn't get it fixed, then we'll be using a higher tractor from Matt. Which then meant that he very quickly went into the workshop and started working on his John Deere. Surprisingly. So, yeah, here we go. So I'll get this, uh, I'm going to get this one done. I believe all of the others are done. It was just these three that needed sorting. This, I can remember many years ago, is where he managed to get himself stuck. There would be none of that today, not with a case. Not at all. It's all fun and games. Archie is starting to get a bit itchy with the situation. And I told him there's nothing to worry about. Everything's in hand. It's only a matter of time before we get rid of another load of bales and you'll get a, get a payout. course I don't know if that's true it would be quite handy if they did actually order some bales seeing as how we're going to have another load come in but we can't all have what we want can we or can we I don't know So we'll get this done, and then I'll get back to the yard. And hopefully he's made some headway on getting his tractor sorted. But, I wouldn't, I wouldn't count me chickens. Not at the moment, anyway. Because he is desperate to have a new tractor, and I don't blame him, to be honest with you. There you go. Missing a bit there. I don't blame him. I am due for a new tractor. A nice shiny red one. Nice shiny new red tractor. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? Okay, so we'll just block this bit out. And then we will be good. I don't know whether anybody else does the same thing, but when you sit back and think about what you've done in your life, and you say to yourself, did I do everything right, or did I get something wrong? And I often sit and think to myself, that I should have bought this little far farmhouse and yard and developed it. It was up for sale around about the same time as I bought the the house off of Archie. But I didn't I chose to go the other way. And you wonder how things would be different. Still, that's the power of hindsight, I suppose. We've got all this rape that we need to spray. We've got loads of it to do. Well, I say loads of it. We've got five fields, I think, that need to be done. Um, 
so I'm going to get on with that today. That's this afternoon's job. I've got to feed the chickens. I forgot to do that this morning, so we will do that first. I just remembered on the way back here. We'll just get this in here. There we go. Get that done and get this off. What's that noise? Is that? Oh. All I'm asking for is some sort of explanation. And I couldn't give a monkey's flying f what you want. Listen, what's going on? This idiot, tell this idiot that he can jog on. What's. Uh, look, you go back to your tractor, you come with me. Oh, but John, he's being an imbecile. I'm sure he is. Come with me. What's the problem? All I wanted to know is what's going on with all these bales. We haven't sold any for the past two years. Well, I did explain to you that there will be ups and downs, didn't I? Yes, but John, I'm running on empty. You were running on empty before you started. We got you a good sum of money to start off with. And it's not my problem that you took out whatever you did to buy that other yard and all those fields. Yes, yes, well, it doesn't matter where that money came from, does it? Well, of course it does, because if you can get money like that, you can get more money from somewhere else. So just back off, will you? Well, there's no need to speak to me like that. Well, you're being unreasonable. I am not. Yes, you are. Now... Just as David said, jog on, and I'll talk to you later. Well, I don't like the tone you're taking. I couldn't give a flying... Well, after all that, I forgot to do me chickens, went and got the massy. I've still got to sort stuff out. Right. Yeah, you told him, didn't you? Well, I won't have him talking to us like that. That's not on. Oh, I. I was having it right up to here, mate. Any anyway, road, what are we going to do about him? Well, uh, I don't know, but it's it's obviously, it's all coming to a head, isn't it? Um, we'll just, just bide our time. Just try and hold your tongue and just not get reared up with him. Oh, I Easier said than done, though, ain't it? Even you got reared up with him. Yeah, well, uh, I'm going to have to go and speak to him and uh, calm the situation down. We need to get this next uh, harvest of these this bio stuff done, and then I think that's when we can we can do it. We can just you know. Oh aye. Right. How's your tractor anyway? Oh aye, right, it's all right. I've got it sorted now, John. It's okay. Right. I kind of expected you to anyway. Well, that's supposed to mean. You know exactly what it's supposed to mean. Anyway, go and give her a wash, and then you can go and sort out what we need to do over with James, if you wouldn't mind. All right, I'm going to see him. What's it, what's it, what's he need doing? Uh, I don't know, actually. He didn't say. Um, he just said he needed a hand, so you can give him a hand. Right now, and you're going off spraying, right? That's right, yeah. Okay, then. Well, I suppose I'll see you later. I suppose you will. Right now, that ta Right, let's get these chickens fed and then we'll get to doing some spraying. Pretty sure I have got some feed left, if not then we're going to be in a situation. That bag is not in the best place, is it? See if we can do something with it. Yes, you will turn. 
Can I get on now? I tell you what, these chickens are the bane of my life. One day, we will get rid of them. For the better. Right, that got that. Yeah, that, that Archie. At the end of the day, he's perfectly entitled to get to get wound up, but he's got money. He's got money, and he is not letting on. Just like we have, I suppose. Just like we have. There we go. That will do that. How are you lot? Alright. Fox hasn't got you yet. I might cut a hole in it. <laughs> right, let's get you back. Let's get... Into the Massey. And then we can go and do some spraying. Nice relaxing spraying. Calm me down. Stick this in here for now. Everything else is in the way. Love that machine. Right. He's still here, but I ain't going to get involved in chatting to him now. Right, Massey. I tell you what, we'll go and do my two little fields first. Flowering early this year. Don't know whether that's a good sign or not. We've had a mild winter, so... I suppose that kind of explains it. you up please before you get carried away So I look at some of this rubbish here. Look at that lot of rubbish. We got another shed full of it over there too. Don't know if you can see it in the distance. <sighs> never mind, hey, never mind. So I'm gonna go and fill up. And then we'll do the other ones. Oh, that gate's shut as well, isn't it? Gates are shut everywhere. It's like Chinese... Chinese puzzles. Uh, oh, who's this? Ah, hello, Di. Oh, John. I've just had Archie down here. Archie? Yes. He's told me. 
that he's seeking legal advice about a conspiracy. A conspiracy? Oh, yes, John. He said that there's some sort of conspiracy going on. And that, uh, he's gonna, he's gonna sue people. Sue people? He can't sue no one. Well, he seems to think that he's got some sort of plan. I think he's coming down to tell you so that he, you tell me so that I get worried and I ain't gonna get worried. He's a tool, that bloke. I just thought to give you a heads up. Well, thank you very much, Di, but I am not worried about that little twerp one bit. Okay, John, no problem. Anyway, how are you getting on with everything else? Well, day's going swimmingly. Had a big blow up with him. Uh, David had a big blow up with him. And I've just sprayed two fields, and yeah. It's going marvellous. How's your end? Oh, I've got a few sheep that have gone lame, but other than that, everything's all right. Well, that's wonderful news. Now, listen, Di, I've got to get on. Um, but thanks for the heads up, mate. And, um... Yeah, uh, I'll see you... I'll see you soon... Uh, well, I'll see you... Well, I don't know. I've got to come and sort your fields out again, haven't we? Oh, yes, John. You need mowing doing. Not at the moment. Okay. All right. I can. I'm. I'm lost with where I am at the moment. Okay, mate. No. No problem. I'll speak to you later. Okay, John. Ta-da for now. Ta-da, mate. Right. You still here? Oh, hey. Well, why? Well, you know. Nope. Not good enough. Get in that tractor. Get yourself down to James. Or else he's gonna he's gonna be on to me because he won't call you because he don't like talking to you. Well, why are you sending me? Because you gonna do the spraying, are you? Hey, Massey, you spraying? Oh no, oh no, I'm not doing that, John. No, that's what I thought. Now go and help him. All right then. I don't need any problems between you and James. Sort yourself out. Oh, okay. Right. See you later. ta -da. Lazy sod. Right. I'm having a day of it, aren't I, really? Having a day of it. Yep. I might just go and hibernate somewhere. I might just sell up and retire to Alaska. That sounds like a really good idea. Alaska.